It's not about the professionals. It's solely about the professionals in the room. It's about the family, the children and young people, um, and having them an equal part um, within that um, meeting process and having them contribute um, to the planning process that may be in place as well. Because if you can contribute to something, you feel part of it. Being open and honest with parents and actually getting to engage with parents as early on as possible. Uh, the longer we have to work with parents, the more change we can facilitate. Remaining empathetic throughout a child protection planning meeting is absolutely essential. Um, being non-judgmental, um, responsive to emotion. Relationships um, is just the key word, I think. Um, or the relationships that we have with the families. We after child protection meetings, you may see the family straight after that meeting. So I always feel that it's important that we connect. So connect with the families after it, just to ensure that you know they how they're feeling. Just checking in, checking that they're okay. We can be too heavy at times, um, or too regimental in the way we do things. Take it back. Listen to the child. You know. I'll, give them some of the decision making um, or certainly the understanding of our decision making um, and how it can affect them. Always try and be prepared. Make sure that you take the time to read the reports and read the chronology and take your own notes. You will get a minute at the end of the meeting but it doesn't always capture the kind of nitty gritty stuff that it could be relevant to your establishment and please remember to look after yourself because if you are not fulfilling your potential then you're not going to be able to support those families who really need you the most.